I'll be walking you through today's tutorial. On today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make this headband. Stay tuned and I'll give you a list of all the supplies you will need to complete this project. Hi, so on today's tutorial, you are going to need your pattern piece on the description box below. There is a link for the free download. You're going to need paper scissors to cut your pattern piece out, fabric scissors, pen pin bowl. You're going to need um, a marking tool. You're going to need a, paper, um, a safety pin to turn out your fabric. You're going to need a quarter of a yard of fabric. This is a fat quarter, and out of a fat quarter, you can, you can get two headbands. You're going to need some elastic. This is non-roll elastic. And you're going to need some snips just to cut those threads and a seam ripper in case you make any mistakes. But this is super easy, so stay tuned and I'll walk you through all the steps for it. Um, so I need the, the instructions on the headband say to cut two on fold. So because I am going to need two sets of these, I'm going to go ahead and fold it another time so that I can get the most out of one cut. So I'm not having to um, cut it out twice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the elastic cover piece of It's very simple. What we're going to do is we are going to open this up, okay? Nice and pretty. We're going to open these up, okay? Open these up, okay? Perfect. So now what we're going to do is we are going to put these with pretty sides touching. So right sides together, pretty sides touching. Okay, right sides touching. If you do have a directional print, you may wanna make sure um, that when you did your cutting and your layout that it was on a directional. This is just, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a couple pins and pin this down. Um, it's not too many, just a couple here and there. I like to put my pins going this direction so when I get to the sewing machine, So now 
this time I'm going to go to the sewing machine and I'm going to show you how to stitch it. Okay, so here's the sewing machine. We are going to go ahead and sew down each long side and we're going to be leaving the short side open. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on my machine. Okay. Needle down. I'm going to back stitch. I'll show you that right here. I'm going to back stitch when I first get started to secure that so when we turn it inside out, it doesn't. on the elastic cover and we'll be right back. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to turn this inside out. We've gone ahead and um, sewn up both sides of each piece, so the front and the elastic cover. So this time I'm gonna take my safety pin So this time I'm going to go ahead and press it and make it nice and flat and what you do here is you just kind of roll it through your fingers and it just kind of end up gets those little curves out a little bit for you so just go ahead and press up both of these pieces and then I'll show you what to do next size about an inch and a half two inches shy of the actual cover the elastic cover so I'm going to go ahead and take my safety pin and I'm going to feed it through one side of the elastic cover until I get to the other side and I just want to make sure that you catch this tail before it goes all the way in so just do this just pull Scrunch it and pull. Do that. Scrunch and pull. Okay, so right before it goes to the end of the elastic, so I can't see it anymore, I'm just going to pull just a little bit more. Okay, so there. At this point, you could just barely see the elastic coming through the fabric. So I'm going to go ahead and pin that at this point, and I'm going to go ahead and turn it around, and I'm going to continue to feed my elastic through the elastic cover. Okay, 
okay? And then at this point, I'm gonna do the same thing with the side of the cover. I'm going to have it so it barely sticks out and then pin it, okay? So here's what it looks like so far. So we have the head cover and then the elastic piece cover, okay? So we've got two pieces at this time. What we're gonna do is we're gonna sew down on either side the elastic cover um, onto the actual elastic so it doesn't go anywhere, okay? And then we're going to attach it to this piece. I'll show you that here in just a second. Show you what I'm going to do to these ends is I'm going to tuck them in just slightly okay just slightly just a little bit not too much you don't want to lose too much of the length okay so it looks like that so it looks like a little tube inside there so you're going to take this piece of the elastic cover and you're going to just stuff it in there um, easiest way to do it is just Fold it just a little bit and then put it in and let it open it up inside. Okay, you take it, you hold it, and you pin again. Voila. And then we're going to do the same thing to this side. Take it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the needle down, take my pen out, and sew again. strings off, snip them away, okay, and you, look at that, it blends so well that you can't see it all that much, it just looks like a line there, it just looks like a line, it's a very nice, clean stitch. are stitched down it's nice and sturdy um, this would fit um, you know it a, 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 you know like a teenager um, a young adult even you know adult can fit this as well I can fit this headband um, if you want to make it smaller for a younger child what you would do is you would cut your elastic to uh, a smaller piece um, I would say about half the size of this here, um, a nice stretchy elastic, so that way it would make it smaller. Um, so, kind of play around with it a little bit because it's, I mean, it's a good, it's a good free template. So, it's, and I'll show you how to modify it so we can make a um, headband for an adult. Okay, so on this part of the tutorial, I'm going to show you how we are going to. Um, make this pattern piece larger so that it will make an adult size headband so this is a kids headband okay and I'm gonna show you how to make it so that you can make an adult headband so the first part what I did is I took this piece here and I cut it in half see that and then I took it and I taped it um, about three-fourths of an inch wider 
in between is to put a space in between about three fourths of an inch. And then I did the same thing to the elastic cover. So whatever you do to the headband cover, you do to the elastic cover as well. So we do the front piece, you do to this piece as well. Once you do that, I went ahead and make a copy and my copy here, and then I just cut this out and you do exactly the same thing you did before with the kids headband, except this time you will get a larger headband. So this is the adult size headband. So you can see the difference here between the two pieces. Um, this is the kid size headband and this is the adult size headband. So this is with it being uh, three fourths of an inch larger um, and this is with it being the, six, the same size as the pattern piece. So you can see how much of a difference it would be just to add in an inch, three fourths of an inch in there makes a much wider headband so it is um, a little bit more adult size for you. So um, we're going to go ahead and on our next video we are going to be showing you how to make a bow as well as a flower um, a fabric flower so don't forget to um, give us a thumbs up subscribe to our YouTube channel and the pattern for this piece for this headband piece the free pattern is going to be on a link below to our website at garnersewingroom.com the link is below as well Again, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe.